Hey, what's up? It's Lewis from The Crypto Beginner, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over crypto fees, what they are, and how you can avoid them. Now, I did go over this a little bit in the video I did on GDAX, but I just wanted to go a little bit more detail so you could understand it a little bit better. See, if you use Coinbase to buy your cryptocurrencies, you will be paying fees. When dealing with money and really anything in general, you wanna cut down on your expenses as much as possible without compromising quality. By using the techniques that you'll learn in this video, you'll be able to buy your cryptocurrencies with zero fees. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're over at coinbase.com and we're looking at the fees. So what you need to do is you need to go down to the country where you're at. So right here we have USA. So the first place that you wanna look at is the USD deposit method. So if you look at that, you'll see that it's free for an ACH transfer and it's 10 bucks or $25 outgoing using a wire transfer. So what this means is that it's totally free for you to actually take your money from your bank and deposit it into Coinbase via a standard ACH transfer. If you were going to do a wire transfer, then you would pay the $10 Coinbase fee, plus you would pay the $20 wire transfer fee for your that your bank charges. Because of this, you wanna deposit funds into Coinbase using just the standard ACH bank wire transfer. Now keep in mind, this will take about eight days for it to clear. It'll take about eight days for your currency, your USD, to transfer from your bank into Coinbase and be put into the Coinbase USD wallet. Now, once it's in there, you could then buy your cryptocurrencies. And if you look over here, these are the fees for buying your cryptocurrencies. You can see 1.49% for both the US bank account and the Coinbase USD wallet. And it's about th and it's 3.99% using a credit and debit card. What this means is that when you buy cryptocurrencies using your bank account or using the money you deposited into Coinbase, you will be charged 1.49%. So if you buy 1000 Bitcoin on Coinbase using your bank account, you'll be charged $14.90. This is $14.90 that you don't really have to pay and you're literally throwing out every thousand dollars that you use to buy crypto on Coinbase. If over the course of say a few years, you ended up putting in $100,000, then that means that you would have effectively thrown out $1,490 in fees that you didn't actually have to pay. When you buy cryptocurrencies using your credit or debit card, you'll be charged 3.99% and on top of the 3.99% you'll be charged for using your credit card, you will also be charged the fees that your credit card and your bank itself actually charges you. And many times they will charge you extra. Many banks at this point aren't actually even allowing credit or debit cards to be used to purchase crypto. But if your bank does allow you to use your credit card to buy crypto, then you'll be charged nearly $40 for every $1,000 that you spend. And this is not even including the additional fees that your bank charges you. So at this point, it's not recommended to use your credit card to purchase crypto. It's also important to know that you'll be paying fees when you withdraw your crypto back into US currency. So let's take a look at the withdrawal fees when you do that. And you can see right here, the US bank account and the Coinbase USD wallet withdrawing it into these things will be 1.49% and PayPal is 3.99%. So what this means is that you'll be paying 1.49% whenever you withdraw your cryptocurrency into either your bank account or your USD wallet on Coinbase. Now, if you withdrew your crypto into USD via PayPal, then you'll be hit with 3.99% and you know that is ridiculous, but you cannot get around paying the withdrawal fees, okay? So with saying that, let's take a look at the fees you'll pay when buying crypto with GDAX. Okay, so you can see on GDAX over here that you're gonna be paying a 0.25% taker fee and a 0% maker fee when using GDAX. Um, and that's if you're having 0% to 1% of the user 30-day volume. And trust me, you're not gonna be having oh, like 6,800 Bitcoins uh, or, or more than that. I mean, if you're watching this video and, you're, and you have more than that, um, you need to hire someone. So basically though, what this means is that when you buy Bitcoin on GDAX, you will pay 0.25% if you buy at the market price and you will pay 0% if you set a limit order. So this is because when you make an order at the market price, it gets filled immediately. This makes you the taker because you are taking the order that it is placed at the market price. You are taking that market price. And just as a side note, if you buy Ethereum on GDAX using the market price, you'll be paying 0.3%, not 0.25%. And if you buy Ethereum using a limit order on GDAX, again, you will just pay 0%.
So what should you do? Well, the best thing to do, which will save you the most money is to one, transfer your USD into Coinbase or GDAX using the standard bank transfer that has zero fees. But you need to know that you will have to wait approximately eight days before your USD clears into the exchange before you could buy your cryptocurrency. The second step would be to use GDAX to buy your crypto using limit orders. An example of this would be if you want to buy Ethereum and it's $943.57, then what you would do as your limit price, you would put in $942.55 or someplace really close to that. And then you would put in however much ETH you want to actually buy. You would not get any fees for this. You just got to make sure that post only is clicked. Now with saying all of this, there is still a really big reason why you might want to just forget all of this together and just stick with buying your coins on Coinbase. And you might want to do that because of the price. And let me explain. If you transfer your money from your bank into Coinbase or GDAX using the standard ACH transfer, then you'll have to wait approximately eight days before it can clear and you could buy your cryptocurrency. If you believe that the price of whatever coin you're trying to buy will increase by more than 1.49% within that eight day period, then just buy it on Coinbase using your standard bank. I have done this on plenty of occasions, especially when the market is crashed. In fact, I just did it yesterday when the market of Bitcoin went down to 7,500 and I didn't have any money, any USD in my GDAX account or in my Coinbase USD wallet. I didn't have any money there. So what I did was I just purchased the Bitcoin at 7,500 at 8,000 because I knew like I know it's going to go up way more than the 1.49% fee. And so I just ate the fee for that. Now, if you haven't signed up to Coinbase yet, click the link in the description or click one of the videos that I'll put up on the screen right now and you'll be able to get $10 of Bitcoin for free just by signing up using my referral link and I would really appreciate it. Other than that, I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to The Crypto Beginner. Let's get to the moon together and I'll see you in the next video.